Whether you run your own online store, sell on Amazon, eBay, or even Etsy, you probably understand the crucial role suppliers play in the success of your business. So in this video, I'll teach you the techniques that the pros use to find world-class wholesale suppliers for their e-commerce businesses. I'll unveil the steps, the strategies, and the insider tips that have turned numerous online store owners such as myself into successful online business owners. What's up everyone? My name is Steve Chu and I run two seven figure businesses over at BumblebeeLinens.com, which sells handkerchiefs online and my e-commerce blog over at MyWifeQuitterJob.com. I'm also the author of the Wall Street Journal bestselling book, The Family First Entrepreneur. Now today I'm going to share with you insights on finding suppliers who deliver high quality products on schedule every single time. Now this first method of finding a great supplier is one that I use when I want to sell name brand products. In fact, I'm often asked how to buy popular products like Lego, Sony, or Apple at wholesale prices. Now, finding a supplier who sells name brand merchandise like Lego typically involves a process of researching, contacting, and negotiating with distributors or wholesalers authorized by the manufacturer. Here's a straightforward way to go about it. Now, first off, most large brands like Lego do not sell directly to consumers or retail stores. You can't just call up Lego and be like, hey, I want to order a bunch of your Millennium Falcons. Instead, they use distributors. Now, a distributor is a middleman between the brand and the retailer or consumer. And their primary function is to get the products from manufacturers and distribute them to various points in the distribution chain, such as wholesalers, retailers, or directly to the consumer. Now, distributors often buy products from manufacturers in large quantities and then sell them in smaller batches to their customers. They also provide additional services such as support and or warranties. Now, for large companies like Lego, distributors have exclusive agreements and are the only entities through which you can purchase their products for resale. So how do you find a distributor? You should start by visiting the manufacturer's site. In this case, it's going to be Lego. Or you can just Google Lego authorized distributor. In this case here, Toy House LLC is an authorized distributor of Lego. Now keep in mind that most large brands like Lego, Apple, and Sony will require you to have some sort of brick and mortar component to your business. Now the remainder of this video will assume that you want to source your own private label products or products under your own brand. So let's start with the basics. Now the first way to find a supplier is to simply use Google. And believe it or not, the very first supplier that we found for our e-commerce store was actually found by Googling a handkerchief manufacturer. We just happened to find a factory in China selling handkerchiefs and purchased a small batch of 200, which was the minimum order quantity. Now at the time, we were actually just trying to buy hankies for our wedding because my wife wanted everyone to carry a handkerchief for our photos. But we ended up using the exact same supplier when we launched our store back in 2007. Now in general, I don't necessarily recommend finding a supplier by Googling unless you plan on selling food products, supplements, or custom clothing. Basically, the Google method works really well if you want to have stuff made in the USA. After all, there are some products that I would never source from China. For example, I would avoid sourcing vitamins from China because you never know what's in the product. It's just too risky. So let's say you want to sell your own private label supplements. Just Google private label supplement manufacturer. Lo and behold, there are tons of options in the United States. If you want to sell food products in the U.S., do a search for the word private label food co-packer. Now, most of you watching this video probably aren't going to be selling supplements or food. The remaining options for finding a great supplier in this video will be ranked from low to high, depending on what your budget is for travel and your time frame for finding a supplier. So make sure you watch to the end to find the best way to find suppliers. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you sign up for my free six day e-commerce mini course below. Now, if you have a super low budget and you'd rather not travel to find a supplier, then I'd probably start with a China wholesale directory like Alibaba or Global Sources. Both of these websites are essentially directories of Chinese factories. Alibaba, for example, actually sends inspectors into the factories in the directories and provides an assessment so you can get a ton of information about the factory before you use them. For example, I found this handkerchief factory on Alibaba with a very simple search. Now, because this factory is an assessed supplier, I can access videos of the factory floor, factory inspection reports, as well as production line reports. Now, according to this report, this factory has 5,500 square feet of factory space and has exported for 16 years. Now, in general, I would only work with factories that have exported to your country for at least five years or more. Now, using Alibaba or Global Sources, 
you can contact a supplier directly through the platform and ask for samples, price quotes, and minimum order quantities. I've used Alibaba many times for our online store, and I have some quick tips for you. You always want to come across as bigger than you really are. So in your communications, you must project confidence. Never say that you are a newbie or that you don't know what you're doing. After all, the supplier is a human. If you put yourself in the shoes of your supplier, would you want to work with someone new or someone who knows what they are doing? Exactly. Anyway, even though Alibaba is extremely convenient for finding suppliers, I still recommend visiting the factory at some point along your journey. One time, we found a supplier in Alibaba that gave us great prices and our first shipment of product was fantastic. It was packaged well, the quality of the fabric was excellent, and we were extremely satisfied. But over time, the quality started to degrade. Also, they became slightly less responsive. So we decided to fly over to China to visit the factory and visit them face to face. We shared a meal together, had a couple of drinks, and ever since that face-to-face -face meeting, the quality has never been poor ever again. Now I tell you this story to illustrate that relationships are extremely important when working with Chinese factories. If you can, you should try to visit your supplier directly because I can almost guarantee you that once you do, you'll get better quality product and much better service. Now the next way to find a supplier is one of my favorite ways and it comes highly recommended attend a trade show like the Canton Fair. Now, if you've never heard of the Canton Fair, it is the largest wholesale supplier trade show in the world where thousands of vendors and buyers attend. Here are just some stats so you can get an idea of how big it is. Last year, there were over 25,000 exhibitors. There were over 190,000 buyers. There were over 60,000 booths. And the exhibition space is almost 1.2 million square meters or about 0.45 square miles in area. Now, to give you an idea of the size and the magnitude of the fair, a football field is about 6,400 square yards, which means that the Canton Fair is the equivalent of almost 218 football fields in area. Pretty crazy, right? The fair is so large that it's split into three phases. Phase one is electronics, household electrical appliances, machinery, lighting equipment, hardware and tools, vehicle and spare parts, and building materials. Phase two is consumer products, decorations, goods, and gifts. Phase three is textiles and garments, shoes, office supplies, cases and bags, recreational products, medicines, medical devices, and health products. Now, attending the Canton Fair is free. However, you do have to get a visa to visit China, and you have to pay for airfare and hotel. All told, your expenses will probably not exceed three to $4,000. Now, going to the fair gives you the best of both worlds. Now, remember my story with poor quality product? Well, I didn't tell you is that with Alibaba, you also have to wait to have samples made and shipped to you, which can take several weeks. Now imagine going back and forth regarding the design of your product, the packaging, and having to wait 10 days between each iteration. It can take forever. However, when you attend the Canton Fair, you can easily engage with hundreds of Chinese vendors in the span of just a couple of days. And the best part is that all the vendors will have sample products in their booths that you can touch and feel for quality. Not only that, but you can often take a quick train ride to visit their factory if you want. Now, over the years, we found countless suppliers from going to the fair itself. And in my opinion, it is one of the most time efficient ways to find a reputable supplier. After all, every supplier at the fair has to pay a large sum of money to even have a booth. As a result, you know right away that every factor you meet at the fair is an established player in the place. Now, I know that you're probably scared about going to China, so I put together a full video on my itinerary right here. In addition, there are tour groups that take people to the fair every year with full accommodations. Now this final method is the one that I use primarily today, which is to hire a sourcing agent. A sourcing agent is a specialist that connects you with factories to produce your products. They can also help you with packaging your products, shipping your products, quality control, and price negotiation. Now there are different sourcing agents that specialize in different countries. For example, We've used Jing sourcing for China with excellent results. We also have sourcing agent contacts who specialize in Vietnam and Mexico. Now what's incredible about using a sourcing agent is that you just simply tell them exactly what you're looking for and they'll find a factory for you. Now typically the sourcing agent lives in the same country as the factory, can actually visit the factory, negotiating the supplier's native language, inspect samples, pretty much everything. Now a good sourcing agent basically acts as your trusted advisor on the ground. They'll also help you locate manufacturers that you cannot find on directories like Alibaba or Global Sources. They also have a strong network of trusted factories, freight forwarders, and inspection companies for your review. 
Now, especially in China, where relationships are extremely important, a sourcing agent has contacts already and can often get you meetings with higher quality and more exclusive factories. Now, you're probably wondering how much a sourcing agent costs, and they are definitely not free. Some agents charge based on the percentage of product source. Some agents charge based on the hour, and some agents charge a flat fee per product. It really depends. For example, Jing sourcing charges 3 to 10% of your final order value, and the percentage charge decreases as your order size increases. Some sourcing agents will not reveal to you the factories, so you must rely on them for all of your sourcing needs for that particular product. Jing, for example, doesn't tell you the factory name ever. Other sourcing agents like Zignify charge you a flat rate of $70, $80 per hour to find and negotiate with the supplier. However, they do tell you the name of the supplier and you don't have to use them again for future orders. It really just depends on what you're looking for. The advantage of paying by the hour is that you only pay once to find the factory. In addition, the chances of kickbacks and backdoor deals with the supplier and the agent are far less. Now, the advantage of paying a portion of your sourcing revenue is that you don't pay any money up front. If the agent doesn't find you a supplier, then you pay nothing. It's basically a game of risk reward and it's basically your choice and it's up to your risk tolerance. Some countries like Mexico or Vietnam are extremely hard to find suppliers unless you have a sourcing agent. Now that you know how and where to find great suppliers, watch this video here to figure out the best and most profitable products to sell online.